Hello everyone, this is Sathvik and in this video we will be discussing about print nightmare vulnerability. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect with me personally, you can check out my Twitter and LinkedIn. And if you want to be part of this channel's community, you can check out my Discord server. All the links are in the description below. So this print nightmare is not a recent vulnerability. It's been there for a while. Like it's a CVE 2021, as you can see on the screen here. So it got introduced in CVE 2021. And the reason why I'm covering is like, uh, you can find this print spooler service like uh, print, print nightmare is nothing but leveraging the print spooler service so which is like a printing uh, printer relay service and uh, you try to gain uh, privilege escalation so for example if it's a standalone machine uh, whatever the machine can be you will get an entire authority system uh, like upload some sort of a driver for this print spooler service as the service is run with the entire authority system so the, the DLL or the driver which we upload is going to be a malicious one. So it is going to be executed with the uh, system privileges and we're going to get the shell. So it's very simple. So like this can be done on anything. Like if it's on a Windows, normal Windows host, you'll get entire authority system. But if you are on a Active Directory network, then you can uh, like you can get entire authority system there as well, where you can upload mimikads and you can obtain the hashes of administrator or some domain admin users. So this is like a privilege escalation technique and the reason why I'm covering is also very simple. So most of the time you see uh, Active Directory boxes or rooms. So uh, like there is a print spooler service running. There is a good chance that uh, uh, it, it can show up. Okay. So just giving a try like you, it, it's going to be done very quickly. Like I once I saw all, I saw some few walkthroughs where uh, there is a complex Active Directory network, but how they got domain admin is through this print nightmare vulnerability. So I'll leave the link for this and for the POC, I'm using this particular uh, trahackme room. So let me start this thing. Okay. But before that, uh, let's quickly go through it. Okay. So you have like, you know, you need to have to impact it installed. So you can install any version, but I have a impact it version 0.9.19 on my machine. So you can go and install that as well. So if you want, you need to uninstall a few and reinstall some. Okay. And then you need to clone this repository. Okay. So let me go back to my Kali machine. So this is my VPN information. So you can just clone this. Uh, sorry. Just copy this URL and just clone this. So git clone and just paste it. So I, I already have that. So if you go to this directory, so you have like this Python script, so which you can run and uh, which helps you in, uh, Thing. So the thing what we are going to do is like as I told you the print spooler service uh, like runs with entire authority system we try to trick the print print, sp uh, print spooler service to install a uh, driver. So driver here is going to be a DLL file. So DLL is like some sort of database or sort of package library sort of file. So which we are going to create through the help of MSF Venom and we are going to replace that we are going to host it from our Kali machine and uh, once uh, we run this exploit the dll is going to upload it there and it's going to run and we're going to get the shell it's very simple okay so we'll go one by one okay so first let's create uh, but before creating uh, you can see that there is few uh, validations so so for example there is a code here so this is all basic stuff uh, like you are trying to create sort of stuff uh, you are uh, hosting a server as i told you but before that you can you need to do rpc dump okay so uh, this is like an impact toolkit so we are checking for few services that are available or not and if these services are or the protocols that are available then there is a good chance that this exploit can uh, this thing can be exploitable and also this is a privilege escalation technique so make sure you are having some sort of credentials or some sort of access on the machine okay so just copy this for this command you don't need to have anything okay so let me go back and let me just paste it uh, but before that, we need to see whether we are able to ping it or not. Just start right. So it may take some time. Yeah, you can see uh, these protocols are running. So this is a, there is a good chance that uh, we can exploit this. Okay. So now coming to that. So let's create a DLL here. So it's very simple. So MSF Venom. So I already have it. So you can see that here. So Windows X64, like I'm going with a shell. So like a normal shell, if you want, you can go with Metalpreter as well, if it, it's your choice. So Lhost is going to be my Kali machine's IP, 215. 
and L port is going to be 445 and the format that I'm looking for is a DLL format. So, and it's a DLL format. So let me hit enter. Okay, so now let's host this file through the help of uh, Impacket SMB server. So we are just hosting a, a SMB server from our Kali machine so that we can uh, remotely transfer this particular shell.dll. So like what uh, I'll show you why this is required. So let me hit enter. So what I'm doing here is like impact, impact at SMB server and SMP2 support and the share name is going to be share and dot in the sense like this current location. So it can be suppose if your shell.dll is in a different location, try to give a different location here. Okay, so that's simple, very simple. So now go to the CVE uh, thing, this directory and uh, let's run this Python 3. So I already have this here, but the IPs are going to be a bit different, I guess. So let's get the new IP. So this is the new IP. So this is the IP of the domain control. Okay, nothing new. Okay, so what's happening here is like we are running this through Python 3. Uh, this is the domain name like uh, this particular room already gives you an initial access like we don't need to do any initial access we're just testing for the print nightmare vulnerability so like i'll show you as well so it's here itself you can see python finance uh, these credentials are given by them itself okay so only thing we need to make changes is like for the share name so if you come back here you can see i made changes to my share name like uh, this is my ip and this is my share and this is my shell.dll okay so that's the file name Okay, so and also I'll open a netcat session. Okay, so I'm opening a listener. So let me hit enter now. So it will take some time, like little bit of time and it, it is going to be done very quickly. You can see uh, it's executing that. So it uploaded. So only thing we need to do is like we need to wait for the shell. Okay, so this is very good a thing. Like uh, you can try to identify the print nightmare vulnerability with the command that's given there. So with the help of RPC dump. Uh, like you don't even need to have credentials for that. So validating this vulnerability is very simple. And if you want to leverage this, then you should have initial access. Okay. So that's the important point here. So here it will take few stages, like by stage three, you will be getting the shell. Okay. So I'll be leaving down the link for this. So you don't even need to have a notes and sort of stuff. Everything is mentioned in this particular tracking room itself. So how to do, if you are confused somewhere, then just go through that. Okay. It's given here completely. Let's go back and by stage two itself, by stage three, we'll be getting that. So let's wait. So you can see the driver path, as I told you, it is changing the driver path of this uh, uni DRV DLL with our shell dot DLL. So, and it is going to be executed with the NT authority system. So we will get shell as NT authority system. So if I type who am I, you can see it's an NT authority system. So for example, if this is a domain controller or any domain joint machine, then you can upload Mimikatz and you can find out some hashes of administrator and then you can pass it, uh, pass it through the help of evil binaram and sort of stuff. It, it can not only be administrator, but also some type of like domain admins as well. So like this is a cool way to do. So whenever you see some sort of machines like Windows, older than Windows Server 2019, then there's a good chance that the print nightmare may be working. Okay, so that is it. Like, uh, if you uh, th that is it regarding this uh, print nightmare vulnerability. If you do end up liking this video, make sure you like it. And really, thank you for watching this video till the end. This is Atvik signing off, and I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you.